Okay, so um, I'd also like to say that we should all please stay muted um, until when we are given the opportunity to speak. Or if you have something to say, you just indicate uh, with a show of hand, you have all the reactions options there or whatever you want to do. There's a thumbs up, there's a clap, there's a heart sign, there's a laugh sign, there's a surprise look, and there's a merry thingy. And a show of hand, you want to raise your hand to indicate that you want to say something. So we can have a more coordinated class and a more coordinated lesson. So once again, welcome to Learn to Play, Make Music Lagos, Nigeria. My name is Sax Gold, and I'm streaming live from the saxophone school here in Nigeria, Lagos State. Welcome, guys. I know we all here are of different levels, you know, different players. We play different type of the instrument, the saxophone. Uh, I understand that. Okay. Yeah, so, and the chat room is also open for communication. You can just say hi and greet everyone. Good morning, everybody. You're from wherever you're joining from. And just say hi in the chat room so everyone is connected. Yeah, so I was saying, I know we all play different instruments, uh, not different instruments, different type of the saxophone. Some play the soprano, some play the alto, some play the tenor, some play all of it. I mean, those three are the most popular. So that's why I'm mentioning just those three, right? Yeah, some play all of it. Some are alto focused, like I am. I'm alto focused. I play the others at some point, but I am alto focused, I would say, because 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm playing the alto sax, so I'm alto focused right now. It can change tomorrow, but this is what I do right now. So, like I said, and then another thing is, I know as well that this is like a general class. We are all on different levels. Some people have been playing for decades now. Some people have been playing for 10 years, one decade. Some have been playing for half a decade. Some have been playing for like a year, two, three. Some have been playing all their life. Yeah, we, we started playing at old age. We're not doing badly because anytime you decide that you want to pick up a craft, if you put your mind to it, you begin to thrive with it. So it doesn't matter the age that you started. It doesn't matter how late you started. It doesn't matter how it seemed like, oh, people have gone ahead of you. Where you are right now, it's just where you should be at this time. Yeah, so the only problem that would be is if you remain on that spot forever, right? So this is where I am, I'm on level one. My level never reached level five. We know that, right? So it becomes an error when you stay on level one for too long and you're not doing anything about it. So that's the personal decision. Do you wanna be where you are? right now or do you want to take it to the next level we always have the opportunity to take it to the next level every day every time today is just another opportunity to take your playing to the next level now i understand that some people play professionally some people take it as a career some play for fun whichever you are i've seen people that they don't end from playing the sax and they play excellently well. They play more than some of us that end from the sax, from playing the saxophone. So I'm saying, you know, just like uh, the Bible says that whatever you find your hands doing, do it well, do it really well, right? Yes. Yeah, so the idea is that we all should be excellent at our different levels because we are unique. You cannot play like I play. And I most definitely cannot play like you play. No way, I'll be angry with myself the moment I start playing like you play. That means I've lost my uniqueness. So we all are unique players. You play differently. So it's like color. So one of the characters of music is color. So, so it's like we have different colors, different people, the same instrument, different sound, different tone, colorful, beautiful. Do you understand? 
Yeah, so this is you. So the moment you trade your uniqueness, then something is wrong. So whatever you do, as much as you admire people, as much as you admire how they play, how they sound, do not lose your voice for any reason. Don't lose your voice because that's very peculiar to you. That's the uniqueness about you. Oh my God, have you heard how Sammy sounds? Oh, have you heard how Michael sounds? Have you heard how Timmy sounds? Have you heard how Ayo sounds? Unique sound. Then imagine that we all now come together in our uniqueness to make one music. It's going to be excellent, beautiful, variety, colors. Have you seen the rainbow? When the colors come together, it's just another canvas on its own. Like, it's beautiful. You're not one color focused. You just see the whole rainbow. You don't say, oh, color red. No, but you say, oh, that's a rainbow. Aha. Uh -huh. So it's the same thing that I'm trying to say. So your uniqueness is very important to us. Yeah, as much as somebody else's sound is important to you, your own sound is, should be much more important and you should feed it. So how do you feed your sound? How do you feed your tone? Is by developing. Now, when you talk about development, development comes with a gradual process. Gradual process in the sense that I may have five hours to myself to practice in a whole day. You may have 10 hours to practice in a whole day. I may have five hours every day to practice in a whole week. You may have 10 hours to practice once in every week. My dear brothers and sister, the most results will come from the person that has to practice every day. The most results. Unless the person is not doing the right thing every day. So in other words, it is the little things that we do consistently that yields the result that we seek. So as much as you're like, oh my God, I wish I could play like that. Oh, why am I not sounding like that? There's a lot of work to do. As easy as it seems, there's work to do. It's not hard at all. If your heart is there, then it's easy. It's the easiest thing that you do your entire life. If your heart is there, check everything that you have put your mind to, everything that you have decided to do, it always flows. But if you're not truly committed to it, it becomes difficult, it becomes hard. So I'm saying, even if you have to practice 10 minutes every day, it is better than practicing once every week. Trust me, you can take it anywhere. You can quote me, right? You can ask anybody. You can say Tega said, or you can say Sax Gold said, if I practice 10 minutes every day, I'll be better than you if I practice for 10 hours every week or once in a while. These are proven stuff. Like, it's just, it's, it's, you cannot argue it. Right. So the result you seek is in your practice thing. I am big on practice. I've been doing 30 days practice since January, and it's been amazing. Right. So we do 30 days practice every month, January, February, March, April, May, and this is June. Very, very much April, May, June. Six months. So we've gone like one quarter already, you know, and I've had people that have been consistently practicing since January, like consistently practicing since January. I have people that have stayed through since we started this program and it's just very cheap, cheaper than your pack of read. <laughs> okay, so I think I'll need to switch my seat because I'm getting uncomfortable. Uh, just mm, get a lower seat. Yes, yeah, so if you're just joining, so that said, this is Make Music Lagos, Learn to Play, and I'm just a representative, you know, representing Make Music Lagos, and um, we are partners with Make Music Lagos, the saxophone school. So well, I'm Sax Gold. My name is Tega Frank Ibi. Um, I'm just a small girl doing small things that's making big difference. Yeah. Okay. So let's go straight up to today's teaching.
Well, I'd like to, I'd like to introduce um, someone here that's going to be an assistant. Mr. Shola is going to be an assistant. Shola Okunuga, if you search through, you see him. Yeah, he's going to be assisting me today um, as well. And of course, we all are going to be learning from each other. I'm looking forward to learning from you, trust me. Every time I teach, even when I teach the smallest of students, I take something home every time. Every time I teach, every time I learn from them. So I'm looking forward to learning from you guys, right? So let's start up with a Q and A, question and answer. What question do you have? Shoot, God will help us to answer them. The ones we cannot answer, we'll take it home and study it. So let's go. Any questions? It's best to start up that way because we are all on different levels. So let's go. Questions, please. Because I'll start by at your office. Okay. I'm here. I'll just check the chat room. So you can indicate to ask your question, or you can use the chat room. Whichever you prefer is fine. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Michael, please go ahead. Thank you. Uh, okay, Mr. Michael, please go ahead and ask your question. Akin Lolu Michael, please go ahead and ask your question. Thank you. How can you, oh, okay. So I have a question in the chat room. I'll just read it. So someone says, uh, I like your ideology on daily practice. Thank you, sir. That's from Ola to me. They then says, how can one manage busy schedule with daily practice? Cool, please. My question is, okay, so let's take it one after the other. So how can one manage um, practicing with busy schedules? Now, like I always tell people that, you know, have been with me, I understand totally that some people have to work. In fact, if you're a man and the saxophone is not yet paying off, or okay, go find work because you are a man, you take a whole human being and put in your house. That means you get married. That's if you are not already married. You will go bump king. That's if you don't have kids already. And you need to care for them. I mean, you need to be responsible for your family. So if you're playing the saxophone and it's not yet pain of one, it is not yet giving you as much as can take care of you, your family, and others. Remember, God blesses us, and it's not just for us alone. When God blesses, it's not for you and your family to be okay and happy. There are other lives that are attached to your destiny, right? So if the instrument is not yet, remember, yet, that is not to say that it will not. It will. There are different times and seasons. This may not just be the season yet for you. But if it's not yet yielding enough, okay, find work so that you can take care of your family, take care of yourself, and appear as a responsible man, right? I'm talking to the men. We, that are the women, no matter how strong we do, man is still a man. A man will still take us into his home, and we will still be subjected to that man, you know? So it's kind of safer for women, but you know, women these days are trying to be up and doing and not so dependable on men. We just want to support our men, you understand? bring something to the table as well so back to the question if you have a busy schedule like i'll tell them we have a 10 what's that thing called mr shola 10 uh there's a practice schedule that I practice um pattern that's called 10 10 10 triple 10 right 10 10 10 so what does that do ah, i should have put up that template what that does is it helps you practice for 10 minutes uh 30 minutes 10 into three 30 minutes daily, any time of your choice, right? So you can break that 10, 10, 10 into, um, people are just distracting me. You can break the 10 into three. So you have warm up, for example, you warm up 10 minutes. The next 10, you, you pick, um, you do a focused practice. Focused practice here could be maybe a particular area you want to work on, right? particular area you want to work on. Let's say, for example, 
you're working on a particular technique, let's say you're trying to work on uh, articulation, you want to develop how you articulate your notes. Focus practice, I can't join. You can't join. Focused practice, you know, 10 minutes. Then the next 10 minutes, you can play a tune or you can learn a tune. You can start scoring a tune. And then that's another aspect entirely. So that's 30 minutes sorted. See, if you can do that, you find out that 30 minutes is not enough for you. But the plan is let's stick to 10, 10, 10. The rule of 10, 10, 10, 10, three sections, 10 minutes warm up, 10 minutes pr focused practice, another 10 minutes score a tune or play a tune you already know for 10 minutes. I bet you, if you do it for straight up one week, before one week, you will discover that 10, 30 minutes is not enough for you. But we are trying to develop a practice habit. We're trying to develop a practice routine that's going to help you in the long run. I hope that answers the question though. I'll just check the chat room and answer every other question. Mr. Shola, please, uh, if you have something to say, always say, or you you can just put it in the chat room as well. Um, Why not? Excuse me. Okay, so, well, does that help? Mr. Hola to me day. Hope that helped though. Then I have from um, Ekum Dai or Samuel. Is it possible to play the saxophone without knowing tonic sulfur? Yes, it is possible to play it without knowing tonic sulfur. If you have a zero music background, right? Is there, well, I've been opportuned, you know, in my teaching career, teaching the saxophone. I've been opportune to meet um, a lot of people that are starting from point zero. Zero here means, can mean different things. Zero can mean no idea about music, zero music background, right? Zero can also mean I play other instruments, but I cannot play the sax. Right. So now let's talk about people that are zero, zero music background. So I have people that I've trained. So it is normal to play the sax without hearing the sofa. Now, mind you, there's no playing of music without hearing, without listening. And both actually works together. Works together in the sense that you can start up with just knowing that this is A on the sax. This is B on the sax, right? And then say, for example, you're playing the C major scale, for example, and you have an instructor. By the way, if you're here, you don't have an instructor, you don't have a personal coach, you don't have any mentor, people that's not people that you just go and type fire under their comment to, people that they are impacting you, people that you are studying. So sometimes you may not have your mentors one-on-one, -on -one, but it's good to have a one-on-one -on -one while you have those in the diaspora or some, some online kind of mentorship, right? It is good to have that. If you don't have a coach, you don't have an instructor, please get one. There should be someone guiding you, even if you are a pro. There should be somebody you would always run to. It's a lesson to see what the person has said concerning this topic. So you get more insight. Now we are not saying that people that have instructors, they're not savvy play. That's a, that's a useless mi mindset that needs to die right now. There's nobody that cannot play. Everybody can play. You have to understand that everybody can play. Everybody, we are just all on different levels, guys. Everybody can play. You cannot play like me because you can't play how I play doesn't mean that you cannot play. You can play. You can play. It's just that you, you are just where you are and I am just where I am. So everybody can play. We are all on different levels. Please, if you don't take anything home today from this lesson, take it.
tell anybody. I said it. My name is Tega Frank Ibi. Okay, oh, Tega Frank Ibi. Surely, most people know me as Sax Gold. I told you, I said it, that you can play. Guys, look in the mirror every day and tell yourself, I can play. So I have to pause so that I can seek in. We can all play, right? So the thing is, back to the question, the more you play, the more your ears open to the sound. I mean, when I started playing, I didn't know what I was playing. I remember very well. When I started playing, I was in the university. That's why I say we started at old age. I was already in the university when I first started playing sax. When I saw it in my whole life, I've never seen a sax before. I saw a lady play, playing. She was just rehousing. In the university, I was just in pre-degree, not even 100 level, when I saw her playing. That was the first time. And then I got mine when I got to 100 level and I was making sound. I could make sound, but I don't know what I was doing, right? So what did I do? So one day I got to school. Uh, so this is not a paid uh, Zoom, so it's gonna go off in nine minutes. If you find this helpful, please join again, but we are still here. I'll just wrap up quickly before it go, runs up. So yeah, uh, so what, what happened was I could make sound, right? But I don't even know what I was playing but I know I could make sound and I know at some point I tried to play something and it sounded like a song that I know, but I didn't know anything else. I don't, I can't hear the sofa. I don't know what any of this is called, nothing. I cannot remember the song, I wish I can, that would have been really helpful. I can't remember the song exactly, right? So what I did was I went, when I went for lectures, I took it to my friend. So I had a click. If you know Paul, Paul, um, Big John, there's another guy that plays the violin. Those are people that have known music from their house. I started music when I got to the school. In fact, when I got to, when I got to university, I didn't know I was going to study music. I didn't want to go back home, so I clicked on music when I was filling my form. That's how I find myself doing music today. That's just, that's a summary, right? So those people I'm mentioning and some other people that you may not know, they are like music from home. So when I got to school, I said, yeah, we are the player, but we are friends, we are click. We're very popular in school. We are like the school band then, back then. Everybody knows us, whether you are in the music department or not, you know that, oh, these are the music guys. So I like, what am I playing? And they told me, oh, you're on the key of G. So my default key when I started playing was G even though I didn't know, but like on the key of G and it showed me the full scale. And they're like, well, this is Ray, this is far, this is me. It's like, oh, oh, okay. So in the knowing that, oh, this is G major. <coughs> and then your G is Do, A is Ray, right? Your B is far. And some people wouldn't even tell you so fast. They would just tell you this is do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. They won't tell you that, oh, this is G. This is that I teach with alphabets a lot. So some people wouldn't tell you that. They just say, ah, no, this is do, this is re, this is me. I mean, I've met people that say, ah, uh, I've been. Sorry, please, I'm not hearing you. I'm finding hard to hear you. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I need to know if you can hear me, a thumbs up will do. Just let me know that you can hear me. There's a reaction. Um, okay, Mr. Fidi can hear me. Who else can hear me? Uh, okay, Mr. Mike can hear me. Who else? I need to know if you all can hear me before I continue. So nobody's uh, missing out on anything at all. Okay, um, sorry, you may want to check um, what's up and I also check mine from my end as well. So if you have any concern, please put it in the chat room. I'll just open and see. So, so I was saying some people wouldn't tell you this is G, this is um, G, this is that. They would just tell you the sulfur straight up. This is do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. And you, go, you can go about with that knowledge. So you have now known that if I put my hand here, now I'm talking about the lame man teaching. If I put my hand here, it's do. If I put my, can you guys see? Okay. If I put my hand here, it's me. If I put my hand here, it's far. That's like a lame man's knowledge. 
that you know has been introduced to you. So, but some people go as far as telling you, like I was told, that oh, you are playing on the key of G, and this is the song you are playing. This is the sofa. So I always encourage my beginning students, beginner students, write as much as you can. Anything I give you, write. Just the right. If I tell you to score a song, write it out. Write the sulfurs. Keep writing because you need it. The truth is you will get to a point where you don't need to write. I don't need to write right now. If I have to write, that means it's thing not going to enter my head. That means other things that disturb me. So what do I do? And there's no crime. If you have to carry paper, there's no crime. See, guys, we always want to be perfect, and we are not even perfect. Not a pinch near the word perfection. We are not. We are not perfect at all. If you have to write it down, write. Write it. Keep writing. The more you write, the more you know it. The more you know it. And then you begin to memorize it. You begin to know, like, I don't need to write right now. I just need to know it. If the thing no green enter, I write it down. Sometimes we have a home line intro in church and the thing no green enter the head. That means I have stressed all week. Or the thing is just trying to mess up with my mind. I write it out. We put the paper there on the side. You know, when it's time to play the intro, I just, guys, we communicate to ourselves. Alpha, ready? Oh, yeah. We look at it and play. There's no crime in that. I'd rather write it on the paper and make sure that the music comes out good than to use my brain. And I know it never enter well and spoil the music because it's recorded. The whole world is watching, they are listening. People want to worship, people want to praise. Make it not be seen that me spoil their praise. Do you understand? So there's nothing wrong with writing. There's nothing wrong. Throw all that rubbish away, it doesn't matter. If you have to write it, please write it. The more you write it, the more you sound it. That's another point. Sing it. Try to pitch it. The more you know it. So because you are being told about it, you begin to get used to it. But the truth is, from your first start, you are going to play without even knowing the sulfur. Like someone asked now, question I'm, um, the question I'm attending to is, can you play the sax without knowing the sulfur? Yes, you can. And then you begin to know it from there, right? I've had younger students that have to teach something to play. I like, put your hands here, it sounds. Put your hand here, play. Put your hand here, and like, oh, that's Mary as a little lamb. I'm like, yes, that's Mary as a little lamb. Do you understand now? I have brought presence of mind to the tune. Do you understand? I hope we're getting this though, and I hope I'm not uh, getting too complex here. So yes. It is okay, you can play the sax without um, knowing the surface, but don't stay on that level of not knowing the surface. Don't stay there, know it, move from there, right? I hope we found that helpful. Okay. Exactly, the more you play, the more you understand the sulfur. Some people don't even understand the half notes. When you start going, the, the, some people, they don't know it yet. But does it mean that they cannot know it? No. Does it mean that they will know it? Yes, they will. So the thing is, I always tell um, the people in my circle, the more you score people's work, the more your musical vocabulary is expanded, the more you know, the areas that you wouldn't go on your own lazy self, the areas you wouldn't go. I mean, we was calling one of James Fortune's work in church last Wednesday, and it was just crazy. People are mad with this music. Okay, so this is less than one minute. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick screenshot of the questions so I don't lose them, and then we'll join again. Uh, one more screenshot, where are you? Cool, I did a screenshot. All right, guys, please, if you find this helpful, please join again, because it's less than one minute, and this is not a paid zone. Thank you. <laughs> 